Good day everyone, this video is to share my experience in using Logitech MX Master 3 in Arch Linux. This is not an advertisement and I'm using Swift Window Manager in this video. So let's start with one of the recording from my phone showing that the device actually works without any configuration. So taking out the USB, um, this is the USB receiver, plug it in and um, we peel off the sticker at the bottom of the mouse, turn on the mouse, okay. Once you turn on the mouse, you can see that the green light is on the left hand side. The vertical scrolling on the WPS office is working, okay. And um, horizontal scrolling is also working fine. So right click is working, left click is also working too. Um, we just need to sh move the cursor a bit, right? So work, left click is also working. This button is to switch to other device that were connected to the mouse um, through Bluetooth earlier. Okay, so this is thumb button. Press on the thumb button. Um, the default key mapping is mode tab or super tab. So the mode tab or super tab in my configuration here is being mapped to change to next workspace. So I have um, changed to next workspace using this um, mouse um, thumb button. Okay, testing on the left, right click on um, this cube browser. Okay, and then left click, middle click to open the new new tab so middle key is click is also working and then um, open one of the link test on the back button is also working fine scrolling is working as well scrolling is working fine and then of course we have um, vertical scrolling <coughs> excuse me and this is vertical scrolling and horizontal scrolling is also working fine in um, Cube browser or web browsing as well. Okay, so that is the end of the recording, um, but not the end of the video. So we now basically move on to the next part where you want to perform some basic configuration. So as you can see from here, some of the basic buttons work, but um, like gesture does not work out of box. So you may need to perform some configuration in my case here, I'm using this LogiOps to, to um, perform configuration. So you may refer to the page in Wiki, uh, ArchWiki um, on this one. So you can install LogiOps and then of course, um, it allows you to customize some of the settings like the buttons, DPI, Smart Shift, High Res Scroll and Gesture. So we will look at the gesture um, later of my config. Okay, so once you have installed this logic ops, you will need to create a file that is in this directory. Okay, so create this logic.cfg is a um, as an empty file and then um, start to input your config into this file here. So you can copy some of the example from here or you can Okay, so take note of the name of the device. Um, you may need to be slightly more careful of the name. So in my case here, my device is only um, wireless mouse MX Master 3. There's no Logitech um, in front. Okay, so um, you need to be slightly more careful with the name of the device. So copy some of the example and then you can uh, modify from there. So if you want to know how, um, about the, more about the, the configuration, so you can look at the documentation on this um, GitHub page, right? So that is um, a lot of things to, to explore. Um, and then you can also look at the config that is also on this GitHub page as well. So basically I copy mine from here and again, be careful of the name of the device. So like in my case here, it's wireless mouse MX Master 3. So copy this file into this um, page and then of course I paste it here. So how do we determine the name of the device? We can actually perform this um, logic uh, dash V. So you may need to use some um, sudo, right? So the root password and you can see that under the info device file, 
is wireless and mouse MX Master 3. So copy this name or just type down this name in this part here. So make sure that the name is exactly the same as what you have from this sudo logit v. So once you have this one, um, my DPI I set it to default 1000. And of course, um, we have some of the buttons as well. So I have um, 0xc3. This is the thumb button with some gesture. So these are the gesture that we have. So let's see what are the gesture that we, 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 we I, I set up here. So gesture direction up here basically means that I press the thumb button, move my um, mouse to the direction up. And what is the action that I want to do? I want the, the, the action is a key press, equivalent to a key press, and then left meta, key minus. So it's a mode minus, and then um, direction down is mode shift minus. Okay. Then moving on, um, left here, it would be toggle smart shift. Okay, um, so this is to change smart shift and right here is um, on the key press again, left meta tab. So it's a mode tab or super tab. So in my config in this Sway window manager again, um, mode tab is to change to the next works, uh, 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 workspace. Okay, so when I press my thumb button and then right, um, move my mouse to the right direction, so you can see that it is changing to the next workspace um, continue like this. Okay, so that is uh, the, the setting that we have here. Okay, so then um, continue from here. You can see that um, you are now looking at direction none and then on release. So basically here now I'm saying that, okay, I press the thumb button. I'm not moving anywhere the mouse. I'm not moving the mouse. And then um, the mode is when on release one action to be performed so this action is a key press so what is the key press is the left meta super shift m so super shift m here i map it in my um, window manager here to a mouse mode which i will explain a little bit in later okay so that is um on the five direct um four direction plus without direction so five gesture or five um actions okay for the thumb button then i map also the button below the vertical scroll view so i map it to cycle dpi so um, this 0xc4 is the button being shown here so below this vertical scroll view okay so there's one small rectangle button so i map it to change dpi here um, from 400 to 1600 of course default is 1000 um, in my config okay so that is my configuration and now you can see that let's try with some of the configuration so we have two windows here um, pressing on the mouse button uh, thumb button and then move to the direction down release you can see that the tuna the file manager being sent to scratch pad and then um, the thumb button direction to up release so i bring up this window again so showing from the scratch pad okay so i send it back down so that is what we have here for the basic configuration but certain things that is being advertised in this um uh uh website does not work for example the flow here where you can copy a file from one device and paste it to another device um does not work in this uh linux at least using logic ops it is not working okay it is also um, being mentioned in the website as well quite clearly um you can share within windows and mac os so um yeah yeah so we do not have this in linux okay then um some apps specific um, customization may not work as well so like we take one example so for excel then when you want to scroll line by line as i'm um, being advertised in one of the video line by line scrolling does not work also so you can have um undo redo and then um horizontal scrolling right so let's try with this LibreOffice vertical scrolling um because i changed the scroll factor earlier 
so it becomes some um, line by line so by default it does not scroll line by line okay so um, that is because um, you have to change the setting here um, if you are using Sway Window Manager, then you want to change the scroll factor to a fraction, like probably 0 0.4 in my case here, so that I can have a line by line scrolling. Okay, so without that, without this line, if we comment out and reload the config, so um, the scrolling will be four lines. Okay, so I'm not um, changing or reloading the config because. Um, uh, my 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 recorder here sometimes um, when i reload the config the recorder will just stop and the video will just stop here okay so that is um for the scrolling here so for LibreOffice to to have line by line you may want to change your scroll factor or if you are using other uh, desktop environments or window manager you may want to change your mouse sensitivity okay so again um high speed scrolling is still working even though you change the mouse sensitivity but of course by doing that um, it affects like your web page scrolling as well as you can see click to click scrolling right so it's very slow in the web page now so personally i do not um, use this part here so usually i comment it out so i'm using um i commented it i uncommented it and also um i'm reloaded the the config for just this video as an illustration Okay, so the other spreadsheet software that you can actually consider is Plan Maker. Plan Maker is actually um in Free Office or Soft Maker if you have the license key. So under Option System, and then you can change the mouse view to like one line. Okay, so by doing that, then it does not affect your whole system. That means to say over here you still can keep your scroll factor to one. But with this change to line by line, you still have the line by line um, scrolling as well. So personally, I prefer this one. But um, because um, Playmaker does not um, have this um, same or similar keyboard shortcut that I used to use in Microsoft Excel. Yes, Microsoft Excel is one of the tools that I use quite a lot during um, my work in my um, office. Okay, so I have no choice to... to we, we couldn't avoid it so have to just use it right so like for example VLOOKUP I cannot press tab to auto complete it so this is also one of the reason why I seldom use this um, plane maker so now moving on to this um, spreadsheet here this is WPS spreadsheet so this one um, I do not know what is the way to change the the scroll speed um, changing the scroll factor it will still be two two lines as you can see from here right so every time it's two lines even though i change the scroll factor to 0 0.4 or 0 0.1 it's still two lines okay but um if i change i couldn't find any option here as well um to change the just like the plane maker to change the scroll um to line by line so if you know of any way to do um tweak this config um, for WPS spreadsheet do um, let me know okay so um, but of course the scrolling is not too fast um, two rows or two lines um, per click uh, to me is acceptable okay so that is um, for the line by line scrolling so you can see um, it's still working fine quite well okay so flow does not work here and then line by line scrolling you may want to change a little bit and then of course um, one of the things, if you are using Alacrity, then you may want to change them at this um, config in your configuration file, scrolling multiplier to be one, so that um, you would have a scrolling, like for example, in in um, LF file manager, you can have it line by line, okay? Line by line scrolling, instead of um, like jumping three or four rows um, below or upwards, um you have row by row okay so you may want to change this part as well okay so personally i will keep this um setting and also uh keep this one to be one okay or comment it i usually don't change the scroll factor because um it's just a bit too slow in web page for me okay so that is for the um scrolling and then now we move on to the uh 
mouse mode that I have in the Sway Window Manager. Okay, so for Sway Window Manager, as you can see here, I have a mouse mode um, config here, and then um, this mouse mode config, I map it to mode shift M, which is also the key that we have in this um, thumb button, right? Direction none, and then mode shift M. So what does it um, contains? It basically um, a few things. First thing, left click will be to toggle the floating windows, um, and then um, the vertical and horizontal scrolling is to change the window size. This two is the back and forward button to change workspace. And of course, I have another three keyboard um, binding here because um, we want to. I want to ensure that the 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 gesture is still working. So this is like the gesture to right hand side. This is um, gesture direction down, gesture direction up, right? So. With this, then um, the mouse um, setting will be basically working. And I think personally think that this uh, mouse mode is quite useful sometimes. Um, for example, if now I press on the thumb button. Okay, so I go into mouse mode, left click. I can bring this one to, to floating to resize it um, vertically, the height, and also scroll horizontally for the width. Okay, so it's um, quite convenient for me to resize the windows. And of course, when I want to just switch to another workspace, I can just press the back and forward button to switch um, workspaces, right? So gesture is also working. So for example, if you want to send this one to Scratchpad, um, gesture down, right? Gesture up, this one back again, press um, left click, send it back. Of course, um, use in this part, you can see that sometimes it does not go back to the original place where it should be a container here. Right, so press on this one to exit. Uh, press on the thumb button to exit the mouse mode again. Then um, move it back. Okay, so that is um, the the setting I have for the mouse mode, um, or in my Sway Window Manager using this Logitech MX Master Three and also the config that I have for this mouse itself. Okay, so if you have any other interesting um, config or the tweak or the trick, um, you can let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next video.